Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katie and I post videos three times weekly so please consider subscribing and if you do like this video give it a big thumbs up and let's get right into it. I have three kids under the age of three and today I'm going to show you how I try to stay organized in the morning. Sorry about the screaming that is my baby River and we are starting off today in the most unorganized room in my house at all times which is the master bedroom for some reason i always accumulate a whole bunch of clothes in this room my husband's clothes my clothes my kids clothes they're all clean but after i do the laundry if i'm not ready to put them away they all accumulate in here and it ends up making a huge mess so for my first tip i would say do not leave any room messier than it was when you entered that room so i do try to do a little bit of cleanup throughout the day consistently because for me it gets overwhelming if my house gets so unorganized in each room I feel like I, I can't get it back to how I want it to so this is better for me personally to kind of stay as on top of it as I can it doesn't always happen but that's usually my goal so let's get right on into it I'm going to show you how I pick up and tidy this messy room so as you can see there is quite a bit of items on the floor here on on the bed as well so i'm just going to tidy up this space a little bit Okay guys, so for my second tip, never leave a task. Rev! Rev's looking in the mirror and <laughs> never leave a task half done. I am so bad about this, but the problem with that is when you restart the task, it's like starting all over because you've kind of lost your train of thought, you've lost where you were, and it makes it take like ten times longer in the end. I am the first to admit I'm not perfect about this, but I do think if you Whatever task you start, if you finish it through, you are a million times more organized because you can erase that from your mind and go on to the next thing instead of having a little bit of this, a little bit of that, little, got to do all of these little tiny things and never actually accomplishing any of them. So the reason I'm saying this right now is I'm about halfway done picking up the room and I really want to quit and do something else. I don't even know what I want to do, anything. I just, I get bored so easily, but I'm going to keep going and power on to the next thing so tip number three is to put anything that your kids can make a mess with crowns chapstick etc out of their reach that way they aren't making a mess unless you are prepared to help them okay guys for my next tip have a notebook that you can write down any kind of ideas or lists or whatever it may be um, just to get your thoughts out. I got this one at Target because every mom loves Target. So I've been writing down since I've just started YouTube like some ideas that I have for videos and um, just stuff like that in this. And I also have um, a notebook downstairs in my kitchen where I put my grocery lists or any time, anything that I might need from the store when I go out. I don't always remember to bring the list, but what? What? So I had to move down here to finish my thought because these two chickadees were fighting. But like I was saying, I don't always remember to bring my list, but if I've written it down, it's more likely, even if I forget their list, that I will remember what I needed to get when I'm at the store. What's wrong, sweetie? You want to do the chapstick? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can share with Sissy. Can we share? Yeah. Okay, friends, so I was able to finally finish my task. I know my bed doesn't look perfect. We don't have a comforter on our bed. We um, prefer to sleep on this sheet, actually, because it is a cooling sheet, and then we just put this, it's a super, super soft um, blanket on top of us when we sleep. So we're going to head down to breakfast. You guys ready? You're hungry? No. No? No. All right. Ice cream? Okay. <laughs> Tip number five, lay out your kids clothes the night before. That way, wherever it is that you get them dressed, you have it ready and you don't have to make a million trips. River was already dressed, so these are to the girls' clothes, but I do that every day. Do you like it? No. 
No, I'm not. Okay. <laughs> You're so pretty. Okay, for my next tip, let your kids eat breakfast and or any messy treats in their pajamas when possible. That way, your adorable outfit that you laid out for them I and possible. That way, your adorable outfit that you laid out for them I know you're hungry, but Sissy had to have an ice cream cone. That way, the adorable outfit you laid out for them for the day doesn't get ruined. Um, and yes, this is the morning and I'm giving my children ice cream. There we go, case in point. I'm hungry too, I'm ready for real breakfast. Can we eat real breakfast, Raven? Tip number seven is to let your kids be involved in helping to make their breakfast. This might seem counterintuitive because it is still a little bit messy, but you have your eye on them and they're not getting into something else while you're making their breakfast. Tip number eight is to clean up as you go, especially with food. I feel like it is way easier to clean up at the moment that it happens so that the food doesn't get stuck to the pots and the pans and the dishes. Also, it just makes me feel like I want to keep the rest of the house clean if my kitchen is tidy and I know that I'm not going to have other tasks to do later on. Excuse my sandals or my flip-flops. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. That's embarrassing, but it is what it is. So I picked up the whole oh, kitchen. Listen, when we go in the car, we have to make sure that we're not going to have our hands on Bubba. Do you understand, Mama? Okay, you promise you're not going to touch Bubba? Because he's just a little baby. We'll put his hat on when we get over to go swimming, okay? But did you hear, Mama, what I said? Riley, can you look at me when I talk? Yeah. Okay, no touching Bubba in the car, please. He's very sleepy. See, he's rubbing his eyes. He's tired. Raven, did you hear Mama? Did you hear Mama? <laughs> Raven, did you hear Mama? Can you say yes, I heard you, please? Yeah. Say yes, please, Mama. Mama. Thank you. Okay. Yes. All right, go on up to the door. Thank you. Get up and go to the door, please. Thank you. Okay guys, that is my last tip. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, give it a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing. I would love to have you and I will see you soon. Bye.